Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Lane Play Theater with another installment of Bunkers. Now, I realize it's been a little while since I've done this, but when you have that thing called a job, it really can't be helped. So, uh, let's get back into the game. Uh, I fiddle around with my controller. Uh, it's working again, or at least it should be. Let me push a button. Yes, it's working again. God, that was horrifying. I don't know what the hell happened. But, back to the game. Uh, that doesn't that sound foreboding for uh, a game like this? Anyways, uh, when we last left our intrepid hero, we had just discovered that the real source behind the thievery of the two treasures was none other than the collector. Isn't that <laughs> funny? That funny that. The real, like, the real crook of this whole caper being, uh... An evil rare collectible thief. What are the odds? Uh, if any of you haven't really seen the, uh... The original, uh... The original premiere of Bonkers, the first episode, which was actually a two-parter, uh, the collector was actually the, uh... Main antagonist of that, uh... Opening... Of the cartoon. But, um, the truth of the matter was that he was actually, uh, huh, that's dangerous. The truth was that he was actually a human disguised as a toon, delusioned into thinking that he was himself a toon. Uh, that's actually kind of funny, given the whole, uh, how this thing was inspired by Roger Rabbit. It was eventually supposed to really be a Roger Rabbit cartoon. But, um... Never really panned out, but the whole collector thing is funny because uh, if if anybody remember if anybody remembers or hadn't seen the movie Judge Doom, the villain of that movie was a uh, a toon disguised as a human, and I actually did some research on uh, Judge Doom himself, and the whole thing but is it the whole thing with him was that he was actually a uh, Oh, this is no good. He was actually once a toon villain who, uh, well, not so much a toon villain, but he, uh, worked in the business since, he, you know, they were all in the entertainment business and whatnot. They were actors, much like humans were in Hollywood. But, uh, damn, how do I do this? There we go. He was actually a, uh, to an actor who went by the name of Baron Von Rotten, and uh, he played uh, the villain in various cartoons that he was in. So he's kind of he was kind of like you know peg, the whole Pedigree P thing going on. And uh, who, how am I gonna do this? Maybe I'll roll into it. Damn. <clears throat> uh. I can't remember if he got a concussion, but or something. But most like like everything that happens to most of the characters in the Roger Rabbit mythos, uh, uh, a heavy object fell on him, and uh, when he came to, he actually believed that he was uh, a villain, much like the characters he played, which led him to commit the atrocities that he committed. Damn, gotta be a little faster. Such as the murders of Teddy Valiant, Eddie Valiant's brother. Uh, R.K. Maroon and Marvin Acme. Which led to his, uh, demise at the end of the movie. Uh, this whole thing came from, uh, a book called Damn. Well, the book wasn't called Damn, but... <laughs> it was actually from a spin-off sequel thing called Who Plugged Roger Rabbit. Uh... <clears throat> I don't exactly. You can look it up. I don't exactly uh, recall what the uh, the whole thing behind that was, but uh, I do recall a new set of weasels looking for, looking for and obtaining the original uh, the original cell of Judge Doom or Baron von Rotten and re uh, resurrecting him through that me those means. But yeah, the, that and the whole uh, damn. I should be lucky that I didn't get killed. That just led, that just lends itself to the whole Roger Rabbit thing that ha that goes on with Bonkers. 
going on here? I don't have to go back? That was just a waste of time? Ah, uh, this thing needs to go faster. supposed to make that jump if I keep bumping into this. Ah, oh, this is bollocks. There you go. <laughs> okay. I guess I could have made the jump normally anyways. Ah, damn. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed that little history lesson of sorts. <laughs> you all didn't come to learn. You came to watch me uh, screw up miserably at this game. Which, so far, I have uh, been successful at. See? Oh, well, the first part of the level's done. Safe state! We really need to pump up the volume of this thing. There we go. Now it kind of reminds me of uh, the Dr. Doppler stages. This uh, horrible, horrifying horrifyingly scary music does. Oh shoot! No! Oh, I really hope those fish don't eat you in one go. But yeah, the whole thing be, uh, behind the whole Judge Doom collector thing, what happened at the end of the, uh, I, I can't remember what the whole, co what the collector's thing was. I can only assume that it had to do with uh, Bonkers and crew getting fired or losing their jobs and I guess becoming uh, rare items on the market. But eventually it came down to uh, Bonkers, Lucky Pikel, and all that stuff. Like, you know, running into a collector, and, uh, Lucky took off, uh, accidentally took off the, uh, glove of the collector, and it was revealed that he had, uh, five fingers, like a human, instead of four, like it should be for a tomb. And it was, a it was, uh, revealed that the collector was actually a human, he lost his mind, and, uh, he uh, ended up falling into this thing called the prop box where he was never seen again. Until now, anyways. <laughs> uh, what is this madness? Oh! Son of a bitch! Damn! I timed that horribly. <laughs> oh well. I have plenty of lives to spare, so. I have yet to lose, anyways. <laughs> That's even provided that I don't abuse the, uh, safe, the safe states, so... Uh, hmm. Oh crap. Never fails. Aw, oh, a heart tank. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go get it. <laughs> Always try to anyways. Ah, frickin' hell. Bear with me, folks. This may take a little while. Oh, damn. And that's why I made a safe state. <laughs> and that's why I made a safe state. Doi! God damn, these controls are odd. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm gonna pause it right here because we're getting to the end of the video, so I guess we'll continue this level on in the next video.